friends. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you for stopping in. If this is your first time stopping into this channel, welcome and thank you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. And for everybody who has supported this channel as I'm trying to grow it, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. This morning, before I head out to work, I thought I would bring a tumbler to you that I am so happy with. So um, it is a bright and early Wednesday morning and welcome. Oh, the other thing is, I am so sorry. You probably hear the chirping of my fire alarm and I know that it's irritating. So it's not battery operated and Scott has changed it out already, but it turns out that it has something to do with the electrical connection to the alarm. So we can't get the chirping to stop, but we have someone coming out tomorrow to fix it. So if that's irritating to you, I am so sorry. And if you didn't notice it and now you do, I'm sorry for that too. So yeah, it's irritating. All right, so this morning, I want to bring to you this tumbler that I did. So this is for a um, for a viewer that had asked if I could do a dragonfly tumbler. Um, so she lost her husband and dragonflies were something that he enjoyed. And um, as she, she said, you know, as she's been thinking about how to do a tumbler with dragonflies, you know, it's a little hard. So um, God bless her and I can't imagine. So Miss Crystal, I hope that you like this tumbler. I really do. I love how it turned out. And, you know, I love dragonflies. So, you know, the wives tale with dragonflies are that, you know, God gave them an extra set of wings so that the angels in our lives could ride on them to fly back in to visit their loved ones. So I think that that really says something. Um, so Scott and I did this tumbler as we did a dirty pour and I was showing him how to do it. I really, I really like the dirty pour. I love how it turns out. It's so pretty. So some things with this one, with the dirty pour, you have to be mindful of how much paint you use. If you use a lot of paint, then um, it does take longer to dry. I probably use a little bit more paint than I needed to with this um, because it is a smaller tumbler and I use the amount that I would for like a, you know, 20 ounce or something like that. Um, so it did take a good full 24 hours to dry. So, and dry time really depends on how much you use and it can get thick and it can, you know, stay tacky. And then also here in Florida, it's been a combination of rainy and humid. So, you know, that certainly makes a difference as well. And then also with the dirty pour, I myself, like I like to do it on a canvas because then I could take that canvas and do something else with it, you know? So just sort of, you know, move it around and let the canvas get covered. And it does make a really pretty canvas also. So um, that was nice. Now, the other thing is with the dirty pour, I didn't have to sand it at all. I did no sanding on this. Now you certainly, can you know scott feels like he could have wet sanded it and brought some of the other color underneath but the color that was underneath i intentionally you know used it first to be on the under part and i only used a small amount because i really just wanted it peeking through i wanted the primary of the cup to be blue so i chose not to do that and so you really don't have to do any sanding with this, you know, but you certainly can. And um, 
you know, he didn't feel like sanding it would hurt it at all. Ow, I just hit my elbow. I'm going to move you forward a little bit because I feel like I can't necessarily show you the cup as well. Well, that's probably too, too far. Sorry. I know I'm not the best with the camera. Sorry about that. Okay, so a couple more things on this. So I also used the decoupage technique to put on the decals on it. So I have another video if you want to see what this looks like with um, pictures. I did one like this with my dad and it was actually the first tumbler that I did like this pictures of my dad and I did it early on so um, it's it's there if you'd like to see that. I really like this technique. It gives you the ability to kind of put anything on the cup that you want to, where sometimes, you know, if you're just using regular like vinyl, it's hard to get this kind of color. Now, you can certainly use printable sticker paper, but, um, for me personally, there's only a specific type of sticker paper that I like, and I've been having a hard time finding it. I did think about printable vinyl, but I wanted this to, I didn't want that thick vinyl look on it. I wanted it to have, you know, more like a, you know, just sort of like angel feel to it. So I thought that the printable vinyl would be too thick. So I did use this decoupage method and in the video I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. Um, a few things to keep in mind if you're doing this. It's regular printer paper and it has to be a laser printer. If you do a if you do a um, inkjet printer it's not going to work. It's just going to oh, excuse me, all rub completely off. Okay. So also when I was doing it now, I automatically, I put Mod Podge on it or tacky glue. So both of them work perfectly fine and add a little water to either one so that it dries a little bit better. Now I automatically put tacky glue underneath it, put it on tacky or Mod Podge, whichever over top of it. Now, when I was doing this, I was like, oh, I sure did put a lot of Mod Podge. This might take forever to dry. And then I started thinking about it and I was like, oh, why, why do I automatically do the Mod Podge? Does it make a difference? Or the tacky glue? So in the video, I put tacky glue, I mean Mod Podge on all of them, tacky glue, Mod Podge, interchangeable, use them the same way. Um, but then I went back and I took a couple of them off and reprinted them, put them back on because I wanted to see. So, so this one has Mod Podge underneath and on top of it, this one has Mod Podge underneath and on top of it. This one has Mod Podge only on top. And this one and this one has no Mod Podge. So what I found with doing that is that it doesn't really make a difference. So if your if your decals aren't sticking well and you are concerned that they may um, move when you put your epoxy on, then you can certainly do Mod Podge or Tacky Glue. You could do it under, over, or both, whatever you want. But if you don't want the dry time and your decals are sticking on there really, you know, rather well then don't use either because it didn't make any difference whatsoever. It all looks completely the same. So I really love how this cup turned out and 
it makes my heart a little happy. It makes my heart very happy. And so it says, a dragonfly to remind me, although we are apart, you are always with me forever in my heart. So, you can see it, it really turned out super sweet. And I like it a lot. So for the dragonfly pictures, um, honestly, I got them off of Google, um, copied and pasted them into Word and printed them. That was it. Print them on a laser color the printer. Dirty pour, if you can see, I mean, the dirty pour turned out so nice. And the coloring came out really, really nice under there. I really, really like the Dirty Pour. It just really gives you a nice, unique coloring to your tumbler. Super nice. I like it a lot. The Dirty Pour is really very unique. So, Miss Crystal, I hope that you like this. And um, if you do, if you email me your address, I'll be happy to send it to you. So... This is my dragonfly tumbler and the dirty pour. So if you guys would like to see how we did the dirty pour, I instructed Scott on it. So the video will be to follow. And I hope you have a blessed and beautiful rest of the day. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye. We're going to do a dirty pour. Now we're going to do it over, because these are the practice cups that I use. So, and we're just going to do it over silver. We're not going to um, paint it this time. We're just going to, all right. So you got the pouring medium. Grab that. Now, the pouring medium, so this one I just got from the Dollar Tree. So I put about half of that in there that you have. Does it look? Uh, I think that's good. Maybe a little more. That's Might as well just put what's in there, yeah. That's what I was going for. Yeah. <laughs> so Dollar Tree doesn't always have these, but sometimes you can find them. Okay. So now we're going to put, just put our colors in there. So you can put them in. How much of each? In order. Um, well, okay. Let's see. Paint. Uh, go and we'll see. They win. Oh. Um. Uh. A little bit more. The table's a little tall for you. It is. A little, I'm a little short. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, okay, so put the next, okay, so do the next color. We'll do pink. Do that one last. Sorry, I had them in order for you. <laughs> of course you had them in order for me. You're the planner. Oh, smarty pants. Mm -hmm. Now listen, one of us has got to be the planner. Because <laughs> you fly by the seat of your pants. Yeah. 
It's a gift. It's a gift. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a gift for you, a curse for me. <laughs> All right, ready? Uh, yeah. I gotta change the subject. Yeah. Okay. That's good. You're so funny. Come on. Get on there. There we go. I love paint. So I, I can love paint too, of course, because you do, but. <laughs> <laughs> In the regular world, I have people that paint stuff for me that I do favors for them, and I that know. way I don't have to touch it. <laughs> I know, I know. Thanks for doing the favor for me. Look, no, no. when I when I put you in here, I was like, "Oh, you look bald," and then I realized you're just getting gray, babe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's handsome. I like it. it. Keeps me from having to lift heavy things at work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, poor old man. Yeah. I don't want him to lift anything heavy. <laughs> Run up and go, oh, I got that for you. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, that's when you know you're getting old, right? Yeah. Sir, ma'am. They, they hold doors for you. Yeah. Like you're a woman. Excuse me, do not be chauvinistic. <laughs> I'm not being chauvinistic. It's like a woman. You're supposed to hold doors for women. Yes, but a woman can hold a door for a man, too. I'm talking about other men. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right. Like the, the younger ones. All right. All right. Now, so, so just so swirl your cup, like in swirls. Like this. Yeah, yeah like, like this. That's a swirl. That's yeah. a shake. That's swirling. a swirl. No, you were shaking. That's a swirl. One man shake is another man swirl. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Swirl until you feel like it's good. Oh, see, you're a good swirler. You could have. I just said, have you show me the way, honey? That's right. Like always, <laughs> always. That's right. When I tell you, follow my lead, you'll never go wrong. That's pretty good there. Yeah, okay, nice. Now what do we you do? feel happy with it? Yeah, I need some darkness to it, but that's just me. Okay. See? Now. Uh, it is a little light. That's okay. It'll be pretty. Right, so put it... So now you're just going to take it and dump it right over top. Like pour it or like literally dump it? Like pour it right okay. over top. Like let it like flow. It. Okay. No, yeah. Yeah, like just pour. But keep okay. pouring. And that's why I got a canvas underneath it to just sort of catch the paint. Just pour. It's going to keep... Just go down. Just keep pouring. It's awfully blue. It is awfully blue, you're right. I guess I probably could have added some more color in it, but it does have that pretty shift. Oh, see, look, there you go. Now it's starting to get some. Yeah. I think the colors are just very close together color-wise. Oh, look, if you look at the uh -huh. colors now, look at them now. I know. They're all like this, almost the same color. Yeah, but it's it still has a nice, pretty- It's got a swirl to it for sure. Yeah. I kind of like that. I, I know. Isn't that cool? I wish the pink would have showed up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So, you know what yeah, I, I wish that I would have done? Hmm. It looks really cool, though. It does, right? Um, I wish that I had put a cup underneath it so you'd have something to grab. It's got tape on the bottom. Around the top, that around that side. No, you didn't tape that one. Yeah, it did. Oh, you taped it while I wasn't looking? Yeah. Oh, you're so good. Okay, then you can just grab it from the bottom where it will be taped. Mm -hmm. And you have something oh, to look at that. The pink's underneath the other stuff, see? Uh, yeah, it's starting to come out. Yeah. See right there, that just pop, bubble pop right there and the oh, pink's yeah, underneath see? it. see? That looks really pretty. It does actually look good. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I like that. Why yeah. do they call that dirty? Um, it's actually pretty awesome. It's called the awesome pour. The awesome pour. Well, that's what we'll start calling it. Yeah. The awesome pour. No, nope, see the pink starting to show up a little bit. Yeah, isn't it's super pretty. So, but before this gets dried, Let's I'd like to get it from here and just set it on something so we can move the paint around on that. Okay. Um, can you give me a second to think about how I'm going to approach this? Mm-hmm. Well, well, you said you put tape on there. Yeah, I did, but I don't want to pick it up and have it. My fingers all on the canvas. 
As long as you don't touch the, the cup, is all, but what are you going to sit it on? Exactly my point right here. Well, yeah, it's, I, I got to replace this cardboard anyway. Are you sure? Positive. If it could, just give me a reason to replace it. I'm okay. I'm ignoring it. All right. Oh, that looks so pretty. I have not pretty fingerprints on it. It's going to be gorgeous. Yes, it is. I like that. So we'll yeah. with this now? Okay, like finger so paint, now... Finger paint, finger paint? Actually, you, it looks cool like that. You can finger paint. Now look, look, look at the colors. I know. You can finger paint or just or pick okay. it up and just swirl it around and cover your canvas. I'll do this here. So, here, I'll get behind you. And because it gives you, instead of wasting your paint, you know, you can, like, make a really pretty picture out of it. Get some printer paper or something I can put underneath this? Some what? Printer paper or something like that. I don't worry about it. I'll just, look, I'll just replace the cardboard. Just say you, you just yeah. told me <laughs> yeah. you replaced the cardboard. I was, I was just thinking about the, the, the mess factor. That's okay. Yeah. Because I want to go corner to corner, you know what I mean? Oh, I see. Yeah. Because you know me, I'm going to come home later on and set my gun down and paint. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I know you. It always happens like that. I know I missed that corner, but it was getting heavy over there. Yep. This cup is gonna be so gorgeous. Look how pretty it is. Yeah, I like the I like the awesome pour. Yep. I'm liking this here. I get that corner. I know. To, I, I told get that corner you. to go. Oh, Isn't yeah. that pretty? I command you to go. Go, go. All right. Yeah. And you know, I'll find. Hmm? You know, I'll find something awesome to put on that. And oh, yeah. I might have to put a sunshine up here in the top left corner of this paint over there. <laughs> 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 like, you, like your third grade pictures you draw with crayons? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got, I got over there finally. Got sunshine. Yeah. That's yeah, funny. My sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Just gonna let this sit out here and dry. Huh? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna set this down so I can put kind of do some of the edge over here. Yeah. Listen, I don't have the paint like around over evenly. Look how pretty it is. It looks like like marble, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So this is our finished tumbler after the dirty pour. This came out so nice. This is such a good technique. I had thought about using like, you know, printable vinyl, but I really, I wanted this to have a very soft look to it. Sort of like um, an angelic kind of look. And I thought that this would really be the best technique for that. Now I could use printable sticker paper and that would work also, but this technique works great. So this will be absolutely fine. And I have one particular type of printable sticker paper that I really like and lately I've been having a hard time finding it. So this technique will work great. So, with this, what you're going to do is, I got a little bit of black around my edges. I'm going to just cut that off because I don't want that there. So, with this, you take and you print your pictures that you want to use. And this could be any type of picture that you choose. However, you're going to print it on regular copy paper with a laser printer. And it has to be a laser printer. If you use anything else, it's not gonna work. An inkjet printer 
does not work for this. It's absolutely got to be a laser printer, okay? So then you take your picture. Now I did cut off the ends of the tape. It, do, it honestly doesn't matter. I did that because I had a black edging on there that I needed to get rid of. So you're going to cover your picture in masking tape. Now I have done this with transfer paper before on a big, on a bigger image. However, what I would say is that, um, you know, the, the clear tape is inexpensive and it is okay to do more than one piece of tape if you need to. So I personally don't see any reason in using the cost of like transfer tape because this is really inexpensive to do it this way. Now you do want to make sure that your entire image is covered. And if, if you want, if you need to use more than one piece of tape to cover a picture, that is absolutely fine. However, don't try and line it up side by side because your picture will be in two parts. I mean, which is fine. You could put it on your cup together in two parts, but you know, it's better if you just overlap your tape just a little bit, okay? So just whatever pictures you wanna use, you're gonna cover in your masking tape. So this is something that I learned when I was a little kid in elementary school art class. And we used to do this with magazines. That's actually how I learned to do this. And I can remember teaching it to my daughter when, when she was a little kid, we did it with um, comic books. So who knew that I'd be doing it for this? All right, so now I have my water here. And I got some little pieces in it, but all right, so you're gonna put your um, put your paper in. Now, honestly, it doesn't matter which way you put your paper in to start by by any means, but you want it all covered. Now, the thing that is important, it will start the back the back of the paper will start to soften up, and then when it does, sorry, it's a piece of like. Um, vinyl from something I was working on last night. So when it starts to soften up, all you're going to do is just slowly start to rub the paper off of your tape. Now you want to, this, it doesn't take very long. You can see how long it's been in the water. It doesn't take long at all, but you want to make sure that you're going really gentle with it. Okay. You don't want to scrape it. You want to just rub because if you scrape it, you will scrape off your picture. And it's just a, just a gentle rub. So this is what I was showing you. Okay. So if you do it side by side, once your picture comes off, it's going to come open like this. So that's what it happens if you don't overlap it a little bit. And it's not a big deal. I'll just, you know, put it on my cup appropriately. But it is a little bit easier if you just um, overlap it a little. And again, just a nice gentle roll. When you get done with this, your water looks like it's got toilet paper in it. It's kind of funny.
So my husband really loved this dirty pour. I am going to do a big, I have a, the big 30 ounce tumbler. Um, I've done him several cups. Um, he loves the Punisher cups. So he does want me to do another one with the big 30 ounce for him and a dirty pour. So I'll probably do that maybe this weekend. I have several other things that I'm kind of working on and my biggest problem is that I have more ideas than time. I have all kinds of like great things that I want to do all the time, but my time doesn't always agree. This green pad here is just a dish, um, a dish draining pad. I really, really like to use them. They work super good for doing different projects. And, you know, they're inexpensive. It's a nice buffer on your table. Gives you some padding. And, you know, they're fine if you get them wet. Of course, because, you know, they're for draining dishes. All right, so. Just to make sure this one was kind of a big one. So I'll just make sure I. Sorry, my text message keeps going off. poor daughter she's um she's just exhausted she was texting me that's what made me think about it you know that you know how it is a you know new baby and you know he's not quite to that stage where he sleeps for super long periods of time without waking up you know he's still wanting to wake up and eat often through the night but, you know, here another month or so, she should probably, you know, start seeing that difference. I, I hope so. I feel so bad for her. She's exhausted. And she just went back to work. Um, fortunately, um, Mike is, you know, on paternity leave now. So he'll be home for, you know, a couple months. So it's a little bit before they have to put him in daycare. But... You know, she's breastfeeding still, um, pumping through the day and then breastfeeding him at night. And, you know, he's wants to wake up and eat so often. I, f I feel so bad for her. All right. So I'm just going to, this is the other nice thing with my little pad here. I can just kind of dry it off. All right. So there's that one. So the other video, if you want to um, look at it, I did the pictures with my dad. It came out so great. It was just a really great memory cup. So, um, you know, if you're wondering how it looks for, you know, to do like regular pictures, you could do your dog, you can do, you know, um, I've done grandparent cups like with it and I'm actually going to be doing some cups for the baby's great grandparents so i'll share those when i do them as well but this is just really a nice technique and it, again it's just printer paper the big the big thing with this is really the fact that you have to um make sure that you're using inkjet i mean forgive me, laser printer, because an inkjet printer is not going to work. Oh. And, you know, you want to make sure that you get all the paper off of it, otherwise you'll have um, 
that look on so that this one actually does still have a little bit more. So after applying all of my images to the tape, cleaning the backing off of them, I did clean up my mess, pulled out my Mod Podge. So I'm applying the images to the cup. Now I did use Mod Podge on the underside and the top of these images. However, remember like I showed you in the beginning, I did go back, reprint some of my images and take them off the cup and then apply images, some with Mod Podge over the top and some with no Mod Podge. And then of course I kept some with the Mod Podge on the underneath and the top. So remember the result showed that there was absolutely no difference in the look. So what I will say to you, use the Mod Podge or again the tacky glue, whichever, if you feel like your image isn't sticking well and it may move with epoxy application. Otherwise, there's really no need to do this step. And then I did apply Mod Podge over top of my Cricut decal. This isn't something that I normally do. I know some people always seal their decals. I haven't found a need for that. However, with this quote being in such small letters, I really didn't want to take a chance of it moving during the epoxy application. So I did go ahead and seal it with the Mod Podge and don't normally do it, don't usually have any problem. So that again is completely up to you. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you like the cup and maybe it gave you some inspiration. The Dirty Pour is fantastic. I made this cup for someone special and I really hope that she likes it and enjoy and you know enjoys what I chose to do with it. So again if you haven't already done so please hit the subscribe button and if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you again soon. I hope you have 